If you use a second or maybe even a third camera for your filming sessions, but haven't used the built-in Premiere Pro multi-cam editing feature, then sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy all the time I'm gonna save you. This is gonna be awesome. Hey guys, I'm Patrick Fuller, and if you've seen my second camera for video shoots video, then it's possible that you've may have thought, oh man, great idea, but having a second camera and having to deal with all that footage, what a nightmare. But don't worry, today we're going to conquer that fear. Well, sort of. It's not really fear, I'm sure, it's just I haven't used it yet. So we're actually going to dive into a practical example with real world footage on how you can do multicam editing and some of the things you need to know before you jump in so you don't have the issues that I had. Let's go. Premiere Pro's multi-camera editing feature lets you sync multiple camera angles in one sequence, then seamlessly switch between those angles by pressing the number keys on your keyboard. But here's a couple things that you should definitely know. First, if you're using an H4n or a Scarlett or any other external recording device for audio, you can absolutely sync that with your video files. They don't have to be built into the video file itself. Super, super helpful. Trust me on this one. Second, pay close attention to the numbers that represent the different video tracks when you're doing multi-editing because if by chance you get those screwed up, that becomes a little bit cumbersome. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so I've got my multi-cam example here. Let me show you how we would normally do this. First, we just drag all these guys down and then we drag the second layer or the left layer, you can see the different layers if I toggle on and off the tracks here. This is my friend Beth, you might recognize her from the contract video. Once we've got that, then we would come up here and drag our audio down here, and then we would just start synchronizing all these things by going synchronize. And then we'd finally have something to work from. And then when we start editing, we would just start clipping things out just make a few cuts here, and then we would just start dragging things up to a, another track where we thought it would be best to show that second camera. It could get a little bit cumbersome, especially if you're adding effects to this or changing the position or the zoom or doing anything with color. So how can we easily do this better? Let's do this. I'm going to take all of these here plus my external audio. I'm gonna come down here and create a multi-camera source sequence. Now, a couple different options to go through here. We could use the video, the audio, or custom. I like custom. We'll just have this be Beth, Patrick, multi-cam. My synchronization points is going to be my audio track on the one. That's really no different than when I just did the synchronize on the timeline. I don't need to offset my audio by any means. For today, I'm not gonna move my source clips to a process bins because they're already in my footage folder and that's all I have. And I'm gonna use the sequence settings for camera one. I'm gonna keep the audio channels preset as automatic. And then for my camera names, I'm just gonna use the different clip names because I've already named them left and center appropriately. Go ahead and click OK. And now it's gonna go through its process. It looks very similar to the timeline syncing process, but the result is gonna be a touch different. So here's our results. We have our Beth Patrick multicam. Now, if I take this here and I scroll all the way down to open in source monitor, you can actually see the two different videos that I have here in small little boxes. If I happen to have five, six, seven, eight different videos, probably six would be easier here. Uh, I can actually toggle between them in real time. So let me show you what that looks like in the timeline real quick before we jump in. I'm gonna scroll all the way down here. We're going to go to open in timeline and you will notice that Premiere Pro has put all of the different videos on individual tracks for us. That's super important because that's also going to change the number of the video corresponding to the source monitor. We're gonna take this guy here, we're going to open him, we're going to say new sequence from clip and it gives us basically a nested sequence to deal with. Now look what happens when I scrub through this we only see video one. 
until you notice we get to this part and then it goes black. You can tell the difference here with our yellow line in the timeline. The reason for that is because now it's switching its video tracks and we're gonna have to play along with it. So what we wanna do is come over here. We wanna take this into toggle multi-camera view, add that on. And that way we can actually see on the right side what is actually being shown. And then on the left side, we can actually see what our options are. So if I'm going to go through here, I can see I still have options one and two. And then if I come over here, options one and two disappear. And now I have options three and four. Make sense so far? Good. So let's say we wanna start editing this. And for you, I'm gonna do this in kind of double speed time. And then I'll show you what the impact is. We're gonna hit L on our keyboard to get us going, or spacebar, and then we're going to hit L again, and we're gonna get going here. For fun, I'm going to hit the two. Ooh, that didn't work, so actually that must be three. That's not it, that's four. So it's one and four that we're playing with here. So I'm gonna hit the four. Let's say we wanna say, oh, go back to one. Let's go four. Back to one. And then I'm gonna stop it by pressing spacebar. Now notice that before I stopped it, the timeline didn't have any cuts in it. But now after I stopped it, it does. So let's zoom in a little bit and see what we got. So let's take it here. You can notice that I have hit my one and then I switch all the way over to my second track, which in this case is four. So now I don't have to cut and then pull up to the different timelines. I can actually just do one, two or one or four in this case. And then as I get let's zoom back out a little bit, and then as I get closer to my end here, I'm gonna keep it as one, and then you're gonna notice that it's going to switch here pretty quickly, and I'm gonna have to use the two and the three tracks. Okay, and we switch, so we're gonna switch to two. And then if we really want to, we can switch over here to five. Kind of see how you can start putting these things together. So now that I have that done, if I wanted, you know, I notice that I have a little bit of black space here, right? Where it just kind of goes dark. So what I can do is I can zoom in. I can go to that piece here. Let's find it right there. Cut that, turn this and actually highlight this. And then I can turn this to two. So now if I'm going to zoom right through it, seamless. How nice is that? Now, if you ever needed to go back into the actual source here, you could easily do that, especially if you wanna do some sort of basic color correction here, or just actually apply all the color correction here, that could work. And that way, when you're toggling, you don't have to layer in different effects. Okay, so I know that was a lot of information and very, very quickly on the multicam edits. So feel free to rewind, go back, check it out, ask me any sort of questions you have in the comments. If you got some good of this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.